awakening has been out for two weeks. How's yeah. it going? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's good, we're really happy with it, you know. It's uh, good sound, good reception from reviews. Uh, we don't know about the sales yet, because uh, I haven't heard from my label, but... Well, you don't really find out about the sales till like, end of, like, second quarter or so. Yeah. So yeah, we're not going to find out the sales for a while, but we're trying to push this off the camp. So. All things we're happy with the result, you know, the hardware was great. Sounding good, yeah. and uh, yeah, people seem to like it. Yeah, it's, it's got, it has progressed from the sort of um, promo that you put out. Um, what was that about? A couple of months back, wasn't it? What the Bleak uh, uh, Slum? Slum, Bleak Slum, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was, uh, we did our own mix, we recorded yeah. everything ourselves, and we did our own mix and master. And then we released that, a few tracks of that. But then we sent it off to uh, Hertz to do. Hertz Studio in Poland to do the uh, proper final masters. So that's what we get in the uh, end result. Right. Thankfully, because uh, we paid money for it. So. Yeah, we paid good money for it. Yeah. <laughs> and it got, is it is, would you say that's what got you sore? The, the... What, uh, the Bleak Slumber? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I think we were already in talks, like, yeah, we the were... album anyway. We just wanted to get something, there's quite a big gap between the Hidden Throne, our yeah. old release. And then, so we really wanted to get something out, like, other gigs we were playing at the time, playing loads of new stuff. Yeah. We wanted something to show for it. Yeah, so we were giving it away yeah. free with other purchases, people would have something to hold, like, uh, you listen to. I know what you mean, because we saw you back on the boat, bolt throw gig. He played Ravenous, exactly. yeah, Undead yeah. of the Dead, yeah. and he's like, where's this from? This is great. Yeah, Let's yeah. have it out so we can hear it. And that was, what, yeah, I, that was, <laughs> that was yeah, last year, yeah. That was a long time the ago. first so. of May last year. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so, why Saw? Why, why go for Siege of Armada? Well, Siege of Armada for us, they, they offered us a, a, like a, a platform deal. So we got one album deal with press and all that kind of stuff. And they did good to us. You know, like, it, it, it's a really good... It's a really good opportunity for us as an underground band that's been around for a while, rather than get locked into like a three album deal. Yeah, it's it's really good we haven't really been signed before properly, so it's, it's a good, good way to test the waters. And, and they themselves describe themselves as kind of a, an enabling label, so it just works out well for us. Great, brilliant stuff. Um, how's it been with them so far? That's pretty good, they've done, the, they've done what they said they were going to do. We've got their physical release. So we're, yeah, we're we got online, we're in stores. Yeah, we've got press a press package stuff. coming up as well. Yeah. Okay. We've got press, yeah, people are interested right now. This has just been released. With a heathen throne, we released it independently. It took us about six months to get the first review in. Really? Six months? It took six months, just cause, probably because we we're pretty yeah. shit at doing it ourselves. <laughs> like, uh, we need well, professional help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Sign, send everything yourself, all the promo packages. Like, yeah, most magazines, like, you know, you'll, you'll get a, a billion promo packs a day. And stuff. Exactly, yeah. Because the receipt yeah. behind us gives us a bit more sort of clout in the press. Probably and a few things dealt with. Obviously, we still have to do a lot, of, do a lot of ourselves, but then that's the same as anybody. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay, so your, your brand of death metal is quite unique. Um, how do you sort of come up? <laughs> how do you come up with style? I'm not just asking about influences. Everyone asks what's your influences and give us all these. Yeah. But what, what, why is your style that style? That sort of brutality with that sort of rhythmic. What? Yeah, I mean it's all about interest. Yeah, a lot of modern death metal about, um, albums. You sort of put it on. It's a really great stuff. But by the end, you're starting to get a little bit bored. Yeah, you get to like track three. And it's like oh, I've had enough of constant blast beats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So there's nothing wrong with that, and we have that in our music, but we like to mix it up with lots of different things, so it's really music for people who've heard a lot of death metal already, they want to... Yeah, and it's kind of trying to write songs as well, because I mean, I think bands like Psychoptic, for example, I love Psychoptic, they're, they're a great band, but you get like a riff fest with totally disconnected stuff, and like, you get a cannon, and then you get like 400 great riffs, and then that song ends, and then you get another 400 great riffs. Yeah. So right. we're, I, I that's know. awesome, that's <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, actually, scratch that, we love Psychoptic. I basically just want to say we like Psychoptic. <laughs> I just wanted to get in there, fair enough, that's fair enough, alright. Um, any big gigs lined up? Any Europe, America, what's anything like that? Have you got anything? Not America. No, uh, not America yet. We're, we're trying to organise some, some Europe stuff, we haven't really got anything concrete yet. Go to Scotland, that's technically outside of England. That yeah, counts, yeah. it counts. It's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, awesome as well. Yeah, we're playing like a lot of kind of... And uh, you would days, be headlining that gig, yeah. are you not? Yeah, yeah we're yeah. headlining Awards of Light on yeah, the right, 4th yeah. of September. Yeah. yeah, we've got the flyer on one of the magazine pages, oh, so it's there, it's ready. Yes. Excellent. Um, what is um, the driving force behind Ancient Seven? What keeps you going? Dave's car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the love of death. Yeah. Love of death. Pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty yeah. We just love the music. We love what we do. We love performing live. Yeah, it's all about playing live. That's what we love. We're not like particularly like a studio act. It gets a lot of like, to go and get a really nice sound in the studio and try and emulate that. We're more about we practice it, we play it live, and we try and get. Yeah, I mean, okay. the perfect live performance on the album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, one of the things we do is we always make sure that whenever we write stuff, we 
play it live. It's all playable. And, and then, we then have, we record it. Yeah. We don't tend to write stuff and then just record it and then we go, oh, that song was good or bad. Like, it's been played live before it goes on the album, which yeah. we think is pretty important for kind of the feel of it. Yeah. We try to keep stuff pretty raw and like, we, don't, we don't have like multiple guitar tracks, we don't have like multiple vocals yeah. like, and stuff. Like, what's on the CD is what Don't use over compression or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. It seems yeah. to be a massive thing at the moment, compressive yeah. vocals, yeah. So, yeah. What, what's okay. on the album is what, is what we do. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, we'll pretty make much, it sound yeah. as good and clear as possible, but yeah. So, yeah, love of death. I think so, yeah, we love writing music. Good way of putting it. We love playing the music we write. Yeah. Fair, love it. Um, biggest highlight of your career so far? Oh, for all of them. Big fan. That's crazy. Yeah. As writing Christ. Yeah. It's kind of fiction. It was a fantastic gig. Yeah. It's great for us because, like, I mean, Bolfer picked us out with a bunch of bands and said you can play in London. That's kind of cool. Yeah. That's where a lot of people, I think, picked you up from because I certainly yeah, found out about you from that point on. Yeah, so that was, that was big for us, yeah. We walked out, there were people there and everything. Was like, yeah, amazing. Amazing. And they didn't leave. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't leave as soon as they started playing. <laughs> we got one scathing review from Death Metal for Orc, though, yeah, no, which basically said that we weren't ball throwers. So we which got is fair enough, we're not, though. Every other, we're not ball throwers, he was very correct. We're, not, we're still on, honestly. <laughs> we're still on. We're working on it. Right? <laughs> I've emailed Carl. I literally have emailed Carl. Like, Can we be ball throwers now for a while? He said no, didn't he? Was I was like, yeah, it's not into it. Yeah, it's got your dates. <laughs> uh, any advice for smaller bands trying to get to that small stage? Do you know, <laughs> think about science guys, there are, there are smaller bands out there, how do they get on to that sort of ladder? Well, we've not had a meteoric rise. Uh, as you probably know, I mean... It's a fairly large label when it comes to metal, though. Yeah, of course. It's, I see, I mean, we, these are very respectable, yeah. yeah. We've got the Heap of Throne independently in 2008, so yeah. we've been pushing that for a while. We talk to a lot of people. Uh, yeah, just so, just keep going, really. It's easy, pretty easy to get depressed, okay. because sometimes you play some shit. I guess... Yeah, you're, I you're guess probably used have, to playing to see my nose. Totally, like, have the thickest skin possible, and constantly deconstruct everything everyone writes in the band and get the best material out of it. Like, it's better, like, if you're an underground band, Time isn't really against you. Like no one knows who you are, so you might as well make the material as good as you can. Keep carrying. Yeah, yeah, and make sure that you put out quality releases. So it, I mean, the thing—it sounds kind of bad, but it's like money has to go into it. Like you have to sound good and you have to look good. Like get clear pictures, get clear production, get it out there as best you can. Because no one's gonna, like no one will do for you anything that you want to do for yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah, don't expect anything. Yeah. yeah. Also, schmooze. Yeah, it's a bit right. It's a bit smoother in there.